In this video, I'm going to tell you about diastolic blood pressure. There are two blood pressure numbers, and diastolic is one of them. You should know what diastolic is and what the numbers mean, because your health depends on it. Welcome to my channel for more blood pressure videos like this one. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. In order to fully understand diastolic blood pressure, first I have to explain blood pressure in general and how it works. The heart is responsible for supplying blood to the organs and tissues of your body. To do this, your heart pumps blood into large vessels of the circulatory system every time it beats. The blood that is pumped into these vessels puts pressure on the walls of the vessels. That pressure on the walls of the blood vessels is indicated by taking your blood pressure. Blood pressure is recorded in two ways, resulting in two numbers, the higher number and the lower number. The second number or lower number is your diastolic blood pressure. This number indicates how much pressure your blood is exerting against your artery walls while the heart is resting between beats, refilling with blood. The systolic number and diastolic number are measured in the abbreviation MMHG. The abbreviation MMHG means millimeters of mercury. The first accurate blood pressure gauges used mercury. Today, mercury is still used as the standard unit of measurement for blood pressure. For people over 50, typically more attention is given to the systolic blood pressure as a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. However, either an elevated systolic or diastolic number may be used to make a diagnosis of high blood pressure. Recent studies, I'll leave a link for you down below, have shown that in individuals ranging from 40 to 89 years of age, for every 10 diastolic number increase in blood pressure, the risk of death from ischemic heart disease and stroke doubles. If your diastolic number number is elevated or high and your systolic number is normal, it means that you are at a higher than average risk of developing elevated systolic pressure as you age. So what do your diastolic numbers mean? If your diastolic number is less than 80 and the systolic number is less than 120, it means your blood pressure is normal. If your diastolic number is less than 80 and your systolic number is between 120 to 129, it means your blood pressure is elevated. If the diastolic number is between 80 and 89, it means your blood pressure is in the high blood pressure range stage 1, regardless of what your systolic number is. If diastolic is 90 or higher, then your blood pressure is in a high blood pressure range stage 2, regardless of your systolic number. If diastolic is higher than 120, then your blood pressure is in hypertensive crisis. If your blood pressure is in hypertensive crisis, it's a serious situation and you should know what to do. I've included a link to my hypertensive crisis video at the end of this video. If you found value in the video, click the thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe here. But more important, stay healthy, and I wish you and your loved ones the very best.